So what are 10 body language signs that a woman is sexually attracted to you? One, she keeps a space next to her free. Oh, hey there. The reason for this, if you find a woman is literally barricading herself in with putting bags everywhere or she's folding her arms or drinks are in front of her, this is a sign that she is not attracted to you. If on the other hand, she creates physical space around herself, there's space for you to sit next to her, her body language is open, this is a great sign that she's at least receptive to you speaking to her. On your dates, you really wanna check out if a woman is comfortable with you coming into intimate proximity with her. You lean in towards one another and this hand is a face, you're able to kind of talk slowly and softly to her and she'll lean in and engage towards you. If she's comfortable leaning in and engaging towards you and she's comfortable with you being in her physical proximity, this is a really great indicator that she's comfortable and we're gearing up for a kiss. And I think she simply wouldn't allow you into her physical proximity unless that was that there was that degree of comfort with you being there. If you need a little hack how to do this, simply drop your head in, slow what you're saying, take more pauses, and perhaps say, hey, did you notice that couple over there? They look like they're on their first hinge date. What do you think? So create a reason to check out whether she's comfortable coming in to that intimate physical proximity. The third sign is she feels physically relaxed. If a woman is tense, this is not a good sign. Please stop. Uh, that tension could be obviously in her body language, but you may actually be able to feel that she's tense. For instance, if you tap her on the arm saying, hey, let's go over here, you may feel like, hmm, that's feeling really solid. And it's not because she's gone to the gym a lot, it's because she's kind of resisting that touch. Perhaps you pick up her wrist to check out her bracelet or rings. Again, her, her arm will feel heavy. She'll be physically resisting intense. This is not a good sign. Instead, we want the opposite of this, which is where she feels really nice and relaxed and she's comfortable with following your flow. And when you pick up her arm or you take her hand or you link arms with her, that should all feel really nice and relaxed. Sign four is she touches you. This is one of the most obvious cues that women can give. And as I know from over 15 years coaching women in their dating lives too, women often feel a lot of hesitancy around touching a man. So if you are the lucky recipient of some physical touch, this is a really, really great sign. Of course, there's the off chance she may just be a tactile, friendly, touchy-feely person. So don't just look at that one thing in isolation, but it's certainly a really great cue of her being comfortable with you and probably hoping that you'll initiate some touch with her as well. Sign five is she touches herself. You may find that if a woman is attracted to you, not only is she giving you that heavy eye contact, she's leaning in, she's smiling, she's engaged, she may also be touching herself. Might be doing a little touch here, a little touch here, a little touch of her own arms. Maybe she's playing, you know, with her hands are going like this. These are all really, really good indicators. Again, women are very, very tactile beings. I think we have more nerve endings in each part of our skin than men do. So if she's touching herself, it's a very, very good sign. I wouldn't quite say that aroused, that may be a little strong, but that she is comfortable, she's relaxed, and she's being receptive. Sign six is she maintains eye contact or she looks down at her feet. Now, sometimes signs women are sexually attracted to you conflict. However, the good news is they will often happen at completely different stages of her getting to know you. If you walk into a room and a woman sees you and you're, you just happen to really be her physical type, she will do this. This is because she feels uncomfortable with the intensity of that sexual attraction. She doesn't want to feel like it's too obvious that she's interested in you. So therefore the safe things to do 
feels like looking at her feet, which of course, for all the women I coach with, unfortunately sends completely the wrong signal to the guy she's attracted to. It's like the first sighting and a woman looks at her feet. This may not be a negative sign. In fact, it could be a very positive sign. On the flip side, if later on in the interaction, for instance, if you go over and talk to her, you find her looking around or she's checking her phone, this would be a neg definitely a negative sign. On a date, we want the opposite to be happening. Obviously, she's not gonna be looking at her feet. Instead, we want that lingering eye contact from her. If a woman is more socially confident, she may also give prolonged looks at a guy to kind of suggest for him to come over and talk to her. Sign seven as she lets her hair down. Women who are sexually attracted to a man will be more self-conscious of their personal appearance, just like how you might be looking at shoes that you can't wear those to shoes today. She will be thinking the same things. She may, because of this, start to preen a bit more. This might mean she lets her hair down if she's like, oh man, this 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 top, this bun doesn't isn't isn't working for me today. You may find that she also moves her hair around. You may find that she fiddles with jewellery. If she has a jacket on, she may take it off. So if she goes to the bathroom, she may come back and have new lip gloss or lipstick on. Look for these subtle signs of preening. This is showing that she cares about her appearance and what you think about her. Sign eight is she's happy for you to stand close to her head on. Now, if you first meet a woman and you're out and about, maybe you're in a bar or somewhere else, it often feels much more comfortable to be side on, so you talk side to side. However, when we're building up to a moment where there could be a kiss, normally we're head on. In fact, it'd be really difficult to do this in any other position. If you're close proximity to a woman and you are face to face and she's maintaining eye contact, maybe she's smiling, wow, maybe she's even looking at your lips, Maybe she's biting her own lips or touching her face. This is a great sign. It's a fantastic sign. We only really get into that very intense, head on, face to face, close proximity when we're attracted to someone. So unless she's leaning away or folding her arms or appears tense or looks confused or concerned, this is a great moment. Sign nine is that she playfully hides. Often when we are attracted to someone, we feel a little bit more put on the spot and women can often respond to this by behaving in a way that's more shy or more demure. So for instance, that could be she hides behind her hands. She's like, oh God, I don't believe you said that. Oh, you got me out, I'm so embarrassed. All of these little cute Hiding signs are again a sign of being bashful and, and sexually attracted to you. The one thing I want you to notice about them is when she's doing these signs, she is always smiling. That smile is showing you that she's comfortable and she's relaxed and it, it's with a flirtatious intention. Obviously, if she's not smiling and she's doing these same poses, that's probably not such a good indicator. Okay, final sign number 10 is that if you happen to have sat across one another on a table, and if you've been watching much dating advice, you should know on dates, you should always really be aiming to sit side by side. If you're sat opposite her on a table, instead of her arms being folded or down here somewhere, this is where her arms will be. You'll notice they'll be palm up, they'll be open towards you and she'll be revealing some more flesh and some more skin. Again, a really nice invitational sign that she's sexually attracted to you and she'd maybe like you to hold her hands or to touch or engage with her. So I hope you've loved these 10 signs she's sexually attracted to you and I'll see you again in another video.